Well, good morning, Idaho, and happy Thursday. 643 is the time, and we are taking a look right now at our tower cam network. We're showing you Boise Twin Falls, Stanley and McCall this morning. Current temperature in Twin Falls is 29. It's 15 in Stanley, 25 in McCall and about 34 here in Boise. It's a pretty solid start considering this is going to be the gold star day. This is the pick day of the week. Scott Durrell and I have said it uh, and I think you're going to like this day as much as we have, um, you know, kind of hyped it up to be. It's going to be a great one. Here's a look at your fresh air forecast. Sunny, no shortage of sunshine for today. Clear skies all around. We're going to see very favorable conditions and really those temperatures are going to reflect it. We're looking at about 40 degrees in the morning, 57 in the afternoon and 68 in the evening. And we have a high temperature forecasted today of about 70 degrees. So that being said, here's a look at your recreation forecast for today. I'm going to go ahead and give you my professional recommendation, my personal recommendation to enjoy the outdoors. If you can maybe do a little work outside, maybe walk to lunch, whatever it might be, do it. Patio dinner, do it. Shopping, bike ride, golf, walk the dog do all of it. Green light all around. Again, it's going to be a really lovely day uh, and you're going to want to enjoy it because we're not going to see that something like this is going to stick around long. In fact, we're looking at a wind advisory that's going to be going into effect midnight Friday and it's going to stick around until about Saturday at 6 a.m. We have wind speeds for everything you see highlighted here upwards to about 30 miles per hour with a 60 mile per hour wind gust. So tomorrow we'll talk about the headache that's going to bring. But like I said today, enjoy what you can. Now here's a look at that system that's going to be bringing us some of those stronger winds and kind of bringing, uh, you know, that other shoe dropping, if you will. It's kind of the catalyst, the reason behind it. Um, we're not going to see any much of this precipitation here in the Treasure Valley. It will certainly be making its way towards central Idaho and northern Idaho, uh, but some of the wind associated with ushering this forward is going to be the result of uh, AS seeing some big changes in our temperatures, but also again, uh, changes in the overall weather pattern, setting the stage for the atmosphere going into next week for some unsettled conditions. So like I said, what does that mean? Before we see that cold front moving in, it's going to increase our temperatures. We're in the process of that now. The cold front will come with some strong winds, and then it's going to be decreasing those temperatures by about 20 degrees. So, yeah, let's just focus on the good stuff, the great stuff. This is a look at today. We have 70 degrees all across the board until about Mountain Home, but we're hanging on the edge of 70. We're at about 67. That's the forecasted high for today. Partly cloudy skies up towards the West Central Mountains, but that's still going to be just a beautiful uh, little uh, gathering of clouds. It's still going to give you enough sunshine to make you smile. We'll see 72 degrees in Riggins, but we'll see about 57 degrees for places like McCall. And the East Central Mountains, we're looking at some sunshine for there as well. High temperatures well into the high 50s. And then moving over into the Magic Valley, our Magic Valley temperature temperatures for today are going to be averaging mostly mid to high 60s with some sunny skies in the forecast for today. Now, as we look at your seven day extended, my favorite thing ever, just at least for Thursday, Friday is not going to be bad. I mean, we will have 77 degrees. We're just going to see a lot more cloud coverage. And like we said, we're going to start to see it introduced into the forecast. Those strong winds that are enough for an advisory uh, and then really Saturday and beyond. Not only are those temperatures going to decrease, but we're looking at some precipitation chances Sunday through Tuesday.